What's up, everybody? ECM here, back again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the top three tools that you can use for bug hunting. As always, if you like the video, please do hit the like button, consider subscribing, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you agree with my tools or if you've got better tools that you would use for bug hunting. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So the most important tool that you can use in bug hunting is Google. Now we need to do information gathering before we can get into uh, reconnaissance and before we can get into the actual hunting of bugs. So uh, again, enumeration and information gathering is going to be the most important steps here. So if I'm interested in hunting bugs. I might want to do some research. I might want to go out and say uh, bugs found in North Carolina. Now, North Carolina is where I live, but you should be able to look up the bugs in your area. Now, the first bug that comes up is bed bugs, which nobody wants to look at those, but we might be able to go to images and do some research and find out what kind of bugs are out there. And I don't know why it's showing us all disgusting looking bugs. I'd be more interested in hunting some of the cuter bugs, but here we are. Thank you, Google. Now, once you have a nice bug hunting information gathering methodology down, you need to go out and start using some other tools to help you find these bugs. So let's take a trip outside and talk about the second tool that we can use in our bug hunting. Okay, so the second item that you're going to want to use or the second tool you're going to want to use is going to be your hands. Your hands are great for enumeration because we can come in here and look under things like a rock and you can see we actually start finding bugs right away. Now it's important to know the type of bugs like this potato bug here and we would get that from our information gathering stage. Now, lastly, a tool that we can use to actually hunt the bugs and capture the bugs might be something as simple as a cup. I can go put that over the potato bug here and now it will be trapped and it would be our bug to go and do what we want with. So that's it for these tips and techniques on bug hunting. Hopefully you learned something today and hopefully you can get all the bugs. Happy April Fool's Day, my friends. Peace out.